Hello friends, this video on components of food part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now the question is how can we prevent deficiency diseases? How can uh, we control these diseases from taking place? So let us now see how can we prevent these kind of deficiency diseases. Now because it is very important to control these diseases, so what can we do? Now, why do we get these deficiency diseases? That this happens due to deficiency of nutrients in our food. So I think uh, if we can ensure that the intake of food is proper in that case, we should be able to prevent deficiency diseases. Now, whenever it comes to maintaining a good health, the first thing that has to be uh, followed very religiously is to maintain a balanced diet. Now, what do we mean by balanced diet? So, it is a diet which includes all the nutrients needed by the body to function properly. Now, you should not miss out on any of the nutrients. Now, uh, many times it happens that uh, people who are overweight, they want to lose weight and they think that, okay, if I start eating less, I'll be able to lose weight. So, as a result, many a times they do not take a lot of nutrients at all. For example, they might not take anything that is rich in proteins. They might not take anything that is rich in carbohydrates. So that results in deficiency over a long period of time. So that should never happen. So the diet that we have to follow, the food items that should be part of our diet should be such that our body is getting all the nutrients. The body is getting carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals. So each of the nutrients are being received by the body in the right amount. Now, it, again, it should not happen that, okay, I know that fats give us energy, so I should take in only fat in my diet. Again, that is not a good idea because when you take excess of fats, that will start accumulating inside your body and you might become overweight. So it, it doesn't mean that you should take the nutrients in excess amount, but the right amount. So you have to take them in the appropriate amounts. In order to have a balanced diet, your diet should include fruits, vegetables, whole grains, protein rich foods, uh, dairy products because when you have included fruits and vegetables, you have already included roughage, you have already included minerals, you have also included vitamins. When you have included whole grains, you have included carbohydrates, you have included fish, meat, lentils, you have included proteins. When it comes to dairy products like milk, curd, cheese, you have included uh, uh, calcium and um, fats and all those things in your diet. So basically, when you have a, a, new, a diet where you are taking in a lot of different stuffs, so in that case, what happens, your body is getting all the nutrients that it need, that is needed. As a result, you will be able to maintain a good health. It is also advisable to say no to fast food, especially the processed food, because they really do not, because the process of processing is such that they lose out on all the important nutrients. So they do not give you any nutrients, but at the same time, they give you a lot of uh, unwanted fats because of which a lot of people tend to gain weight a lot of people have digestion problems so that is why it is advisable not to eat a lot of junk food another important thing that can be followed to maintain a good health is to perform yoga so it, it not it is not only a physical discipline but it also brings about a spiritual discipline which includes meditation where uh, your concentration power increases, you can find some peace of mind. Uh, it, it also includes breath control. So it overall relaxes your body and mind. So yoga is another important thing that can keep you healthy. The third thing that you can do is physical exercise. So when we talk about physical exercise, it could be any kind of physical activity. Maybe you can take up a sport of your choice if you are playing football or basketball or any other sport of your choice. So that time a lot of physical activity is involved with that. So if you are playing football, you actually need to be fit enough to run after the ball, right? Similarly, uh, a lot of people who are not that sporty can also do some exercises maybe you can go for jogging you can go for a walk you can do skipping you can go a lot of people even join gym and they do a lot of uh, exercises there so physical exercise could be of any form as 
convenient to you so when there is so much of physical activity different parts of your body are moving so that also helps to maintain your body parts and overall fitness and wellness is maintained so balanced diet along with yoga and physical exercise can actually help you to stay healthy and disease free thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again